Huge shout out to EA for allowing me to participate in this game changer event. What's going on everybody? Welcome to the video. This one's gonna be on seven things that were nerfed in Madden 19. The first one right off the bat's gonna be something a lot of people will be happy about and it's C routes. C routes this year are not going to get the same separation that they were able to in Madden 18. Right here you see C route against man-to-man -man coverage. Yes, that is AJ Boye, one of the best cornerbacks in the game. Uh, but as long as you have someone out there who's somewhat competent to play man-to-man -man coverage and isn't completely awful, they're going to do a much better job of sticking with that route this year. So right here, you even get the motion to get off of the press. And once again, a very tight contested throw that Jordan Matthews is not able to bring in. Even against zone coverages, zone's going to do a lot better job this year. As you can see, PA post from Gun Bunch. Uh, the C route is just much longer developing. I have a four-man pass rush coming at me, and I can't even get the ball off because of how long the route takes to develop now. So not only does it not get as much separation, it's much longer developing. And even when it does develop, as you see right there, the cloud flat was able to sink back and play it. So zones play it better, man plays it better, and it takes longer to develop. So three things. Uh, all about the C route that have been nerfed. So the number two thing here is 91 zone. So last year, the 91 zone threshold was a big point of contention in the community. Some people didn't like it because defenders were basically playing psychic and breaking on balls they had no business breaking on. But this year, that's gone. Basically, the rating now scales with how high your rating goes. Uh, then the chances of your defender breaking on the ball, uh, basically, as soon as the QB throws it, increase so the higher your rating the higher chance they have to break on it but right here as you can see Brady throwing the ball Boye just now breaking uh, before last year as soon as you inputted the button the defender would be breaking so this year that's not the case they're gonna break a little more realistically and you won't have corners basically just becoming psychic while looking down the field stopping on a dime and undercutting a route that they really have no business playing so a big improvement in my opinion to zone coverage right there uh, with the nerf of the 91 zone threshold and the introduction of the more scaling ratings. Number three on the list is going to be quote unquote S post route. So last year S posts were very good both against man and zone coverage. Man to man just got very good separation zone. There really wasn't a zone in the game that could guard the area of the field it attacked. And so this year as you can see we have Edelman a great route runner and the route is just similar to C routes more deliberate not as quick cutting and man-to-man -man defenders are able to keep up with it. Granted, like I said, we have some of the best man-to-man -man defenders in the game, but as long as you have someone out there somewhat competent, they're gonna keep up with this route now. And so as you can see right here against the cover three, zones are gonna do a better job of playing it. That deep safety made Jordan Matthews make a very contested catch. And you're gonna see both not just deep defenders, but also underneath defenders right here, this linebacker are gonna do a much better job of reaching up and getting a hand on the ball. So number four, and maybe the biggest one on this list, the overall nerf to the gun bunch formation. You saw PA post earlier, dig halfback out has been removed from the game, and now you see corner strike. And you notice three things. One, the C route on the left, just like PA post, has been nerfed. It's no longer short, it's longer developing right there. The corner barely missed a diving attempt at that ball but it just doesn't get the same separation. On the right, the right side corner route is now nerfed as well. Doesn't cut as sharply towards the sideline. Last year, you were able to motion this route out and basically throw it as soon as he cut, and that would have been two easy completions in Madden 18. Now he cuts more vertically down the field and kind of runs into the zones, and the zones are able to make a play on the ball. And then the third thing, the RB receiver no longer runs his deep dig route. He now runs a little baby hitch route uh, that's pretty much a hot routable route uh, with the hitch hot route. And so three routes have been changed. Can't really blame them because it was a very dominant play. As you see right here, PA post has also been changed. We talked about the C route on the left, but also the post route on the right. No longer from the middle bunch receiver, now from the right side bunch receiver. And now it's much deeper downfield. So he doesn't really get open against many coverages. He kind of runs himself into the zones instead of in front of them. And so now it's, it's just not a very good route. So Gun Bunch has definitely taken a hit in Madden 19. Number five on this list is the most popular defense from Madden 18, and that is Crossfire. If you watch the Ultimate League Finals, you saw Kiv won the Ultimate League Championship running nickel 335 odd. Crossfire is also popular out of other formations like 3-4 normal and dollar. So this year, as you can see, five-man Crossfire Blitz, you're able to pick it up with 
a five-man protection, which was honestly a rarity last year. A lot of times you had to block six or maybe even seven. Right there, my left tackle just got beat by a block shed. I'm still picking up the blitz. If you want a little more insurance, you can definitely block your running back. But now, crossfire, you're going to be able to pick up in Madden 19. The sixth spot on this list is going to be speed out or speed in routes. Right here, I'm going to be showing you speed out routes. And what they were great at last year was really accelerating on the cut and getting a nice speed burst to where man defenders really couldn't keep up and they would get outside positioning even against zone defenders like cloud flats and so this year running right here gun trips tight end pa counter go with speed out routes on both sides of the field and you can see the man-to-man -man defenders are keeping up stride for stride with them and the acceleration just isn't there this year the the cut isn't as quick as it has been in years past right here out the backfield same route miles jack all over james white and so this year it's really much more comparable right here you can see just a stock standard hot routed outer in route you get the same acceleration and that's really how that route's going to play out in madden 19 this year so this last one's going to be a little weird but it's the gun split close formation and the nerf is kind of hard to see but they changed the personnel package from three receiver one tight end one running back to now three receiver two running back and the reason this is important is because of the line of scrimmage you can only audible to other formations that share your personnel package so you went from being able to audible between the most diverse personal package in the game to now one that's pretty rare and unless you're audibling to like a three receiver i form set or some weird pistol set you're not going to be able to change formations at the line of scrimmage out of gun split close anymore and this allows your opponent to sell out to stop whatever you're doing on top of that the personnel is going to be a dead giveaway at the play call screen as soon as they see three receiver two running back they know you're running split close and can call their defense accordingly so just a little less variety with the gun split close formation but that's going to do it for this video, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for a ton of Madden 19 content coming up. And as always, until next time, take it easy.